Uh, so far, um, the highest rated player at 2,000 to uh, 200. Um, and we expect Kenyans to give them a run for the money because, again, the juniors have really improved and um, uh, currently to finish a tournament and pitting is very difficult and we are looking forward to um, uh, a tough match uh, among Kenyans and others who have visited the country to participate in this event. Yeah. Yes, and that's, that's one of the reasons I'm here. I, I think the, the Kenyan chess players, if, if you go according to their ratings, the ratings don't, don't really tell the stroke doesn't, don't tell how strong the players are. They are actually much stronger than what their ratings show. So I may be the highest rated in this event, but there is not going to be an easy game for me. Yes. What are you doing to make yourself? Currently we have 21 uh, camps going on across the country. That means there is a lot of focus on talent development and uh, you know scouting the best players. Because right now Kenya is on the, on the takeoff uh, in terms of this game and uh, in Africa is among the top countries that are improving very fast. Our top juniors are actually the top players in the country. That means um, we are getting a lot of juniors who are challenging the seniors and displaying, displacing them from the national table. Uh, in the near future we will have only juniors topping the national ranking list. Yeah. Well, a national team you have to come and fight. Uh, this is an open tournament where any Kenyan is given a chance to fight against the best. And usually the best is declared the champion. Like in, uh, from 11 to 15, we will have national championship. And uh, the final ranking gives us the national team, which is usually five players. And also the national champion who represents Kenya in the international arena. Yeah. It's, an annual event which happens every year. Remember last year we had it and uh, it was one of the best. Uh, it has attracted players across the country and also outside the country. We have players from South Sudan, we have from Uganda, uh, we have one from Ethiopia and one from Algeria. That means uh, it's gaining a lot of traction in terms of uh, participation. Uh, this is also an important event because it's the last event before we go for the national championship a premier event that marks the end of the year. So you can see the turn-up is quite impressive uh, as they catch and, uh, you know, uh, prepare themselves for the big match coming on from 11th to 15th December as the final tournament year. Our national champion, uh, Mehul Kohil, who is also the defending champion. Um, and uh, he had proved himself, he said he is coming to defence and uh, from the start of the match he have won the first match and uh, we expect a good uh, uh, fight, yes.
So the junior scene in Kenya is 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 improving at an alarming rate. So back in Uganda, we 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 have we know that at least Kenya's junior scene has, has overtaken ours, and so it's healthy competition. It's nice for for East African chess. We're trying our best as well to um, to train our juniors and, and 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 hopefully match what Kenya is doing, competing frequently, and that's one of the other reasons I'm here because because. You have to keep playing. Just like any other sport, you have to keep practicing. Yes. So that's my motivation. I have to stay active. I have to um, to keep playing. I'd say it, it's, it's, a, it's a collective effort. I wouldn't say that uh, it's an individual effort. We try to instill uh, discipline in our players and uh, we try to motivate them uh, not to be satisfied with their level of play because uh, Chess is a very tough game, and the stronger you get, the tougher the opposition. So it's either you outwork your opponent in terms of uh, intensive training, or uh, you'll just get crushed over the board. So discipline is one of the key pillars in our club, and uh, we try to instill it to the letter when it comes to practice and uh, attendance. My name is uh, Steve Okeo. I'm a chess player from Kisumu. I represent uh, Victoria Chess Club. So, uh, Kisumu has been uh, vibrant of late in terms of chess because we are trying to uplift uh, the game, especially among the young chess players because uh, uh, chess requires a lot, of, uh, a lot of practice and uh, it's usually a good idea to introduce the kids to the game as, uh, as early as possible. So we've been pushing it uh, aggressively, trying to introduce new kids into the game. And uh, that's why uh, I think uh, Victoria Chess Club is among the top contenders for, for this tournament. Okay, in terms of uh, mental health, I think uh, it has been proven, I'm not a scientist, but <laughs> I've read a couple of articles that uh, chess improves uh, cognitive abilities in, uh, in, in people, especially kids. Uh, it also, because uh, when you're seated at the board, your opponent is always presenting you with problems that you need to solve in order to outplay him or her. So chess forces you to think critically, it teaches you patience, uh, critical thinking and uh, you have to once you make a decision you have to stand by it just like uh, in life you have to plan your next move even in, in chess just like in life because uh, if you don't plan for your next move it's going to be very hard to achieve uh, whatever you want so those are among the, among the benefits of chess, I'd say the main ones, just uh, problem solving skills. Uh, also, it makes you sharp because uh, you have to think critically about every position. And before you make a move, you have to really think about that move because your opponent is also trying to win. Okay. But in case in case they don't win this one, there will be there will be more next year. So yeah, I mean the the, I, the calendar year I think has maybe one or two events left. 
and that closes out 2024 but in 2025 there will be plenty of events for them to, to win. Thank you.